everyone, it's me, Andrew, and this is your weekly oracle card reading for October 6th through the 12th. And I cannot believe we're already um, at the 6th of October. It's just insane. So the full moon will be in two days. Um, October 8th is what I read last. Um, and so that means two more days to really put the power in your manifesting put the power in your manifestation work and bring the things that you wish to bring to you in your life. So, um, two days, the full moon, or three days, including the night of the full moon. So, I am very, very excited about this. Um, I've been trying to do a lot more manifestation work, and I hope all of you have, too. Uh, this week, I was guided to use the Guardian Angel Tarot Cards. By Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. Um, I think one of the reasons I was guided to use this deck is because this is a time of transition and change for a lot of people. And sometimes it feels like that change isn't going too smoothly. It feels like um, it feels kind of harsh. And I feel like using gentle cards this week and really um, letting you guys know that. The angels are with you, and really see what they have to say. So, as I shuffle these cards, I'm asking that there be a message for all of us this week. Um, and that it'll be something that we all need to hear. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and where's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Awesome. That was quick. These cards really wanted to come out today. Alright, so for Monday, Tuesday, we have Be Open to Success. And it is card number 7 of the Major Arcana. And this card is really talking about... Um, Keeping your heart open and keeping your just vibrations high and keeping everything on a higher level. Um, it says there's a lot of things you can do um, using divine guidance or utilizing the divine guidance, rather, that's been being offered to you. Um, this card, I'm going to read what it says. I really like it. It says, you balance so many different priorities and I've come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. So, this card says to really be open to people complimenting you. I know um, so a lot of times I'm one of those people, too. If someone compliments me, I'm like, oh, thanks. You know, I get kind of embarrassed. But um, this card says to be open to that, to embrace it, because it's part of your divine purpose. You know, it's encouragement sent from God and the angels. So the beginning of the week starts out with very encouraging messages from people and from angels. And um, also a um, guiding thought to be open to success and to keep your heart open to success. And um, it's actually really funny that it says that um, I carry a Malachite crystal uh, with me every single day I go to work. Um, I carry Malachite and clear quartz in my pocket. And Malachite helps you, helps your heart to be open to guidance and also to abundance and um, in all forms and prosperity. And, and it helps your your heart to just burst open and you know have room for everything that that heaven and God and the angels want to have want to send your way. And the clear quartz crystal amplifies that energy, so it makes it even more so. So um. And that's been working for me. So um, definitely get some Malachite Crystal if you can. If not, just pray that your heart remain open. So for the middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, we have the Two of Emotion. Um, this card is probably one of the cards that I remember most from Angel Tarot, which is a Two of Water. And this card is a keep on keeping on card. Um, in terms of a relationship, it, in terms of um, friendships growing into being more spiritual connections, um, 
And if there are certain relationships in your life that feel challenging to you, um, this card says there's still hope. You know, that, that there's nothing that is too terribly wrong. Um, now, this excludes, and they really told me to tell you this, it, really, it excludes abusive relationships. If you're in an abusive relationship, this card is not for you. Like, this card is telling you that you have to make a choice. That you have to make a choice to leave that situation. But, if there's a relationship that just seems like a little, just a little bit challenging, whether it's a friend, a co-worker, or any kind of thing like that, um, that it's going to pass over. And, you know, it, it's just to keep on keeping on getting back into the groove of things. And um, realizing that there's still work to be done on both sides of of the equation and the what I'm really drawn to on this card is where it says friendships may deepen into a spiritual connection so really look for spiritual connections in the middle of the week um, friends that already have spiritual connections with you um, look for those to deepen look for those to um, gain a new sense of wonder and happiness and peace so um, definitely be looking for that in the middle of the week towards the end of the week we have the nine of thought which, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, and um, Angel Tarot is the Nine of Swords, or Nine of Air, sorry, Tarot is Nine of Swords, um, this card says to stop being so hard on yourself, it says to take all of your top thoughts, sorry, and turn them positive, and I think I say this in every single video about positive thinking, and it says there's no need to worry, and I'm actually going to read what this card is, because I feel like it's for somebody that's watching this. Um, stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angels. That is one of the best pieces of advice anyone could ever give you. And also one of the best pieces of advice that you could ever use and take from so, towards the end of the week, um, anxious thoughts may come, uh, what if, when, how, you know, what's going to happen, that kind of stuff. Ball all of it up and give it to the angels, give it to God, because it's not, it's not helpful to you. And replace those thoughts with positivity, and positive thoughts make the world of difference. So, for a little recap. The beginning of the week talks about being open to success in all areas of your life. So really keep yourself um, grounded and ask the angels to keep you open to the things that they want you to have. Um, the middle of the week sees relationships growing deeper, um, friendships growing stronger, um, spiritual relationships going stronger, um, and it's a keep on keeping on like I said before. So, in the middle of the week, there may be some challenging relationships in your life, um, but remember that it's all part of a divine plan, and that it's something that needs to happen, it's something that, that needs to pan out, but not to give up on the relationship. And, kind of what they just told me is, the Nine of Thought card is going to stem from the Two of Emotion card. So, if there is something, if there is a relationship going on in your life, you know, towards the end of the week, don't let anxiety get to you. Don't let fear-based thoughts or lower energy thoughts get to you because it's not something that is good. Ask the angels for help. Give it to the angels and it's going to be fine. And then towards the end of the week, any negative thoughts, any any lower energy thoughts, lower vibrational thoughts, um, they uh, need to be given to the angels, given to heaven for transmutation that will be given back to you. So, that is the reading for the week. Um, if you would like a reading with these cards, um, I am free uh, for email readings this week. Um, you, I'll list my website below and my Facebook page below, um, and also my email address if you ever want if you want to reach me. Um, I hope that you all are having a great day wherever you are. And I know I'm recording this video a little bit early, but I work tomorrow night, and I'm scared I won't be able to get it up in time. So I'm going to go ahead and post it today. So um, you guys will have it. Um, 
So I hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope that you uh, take it to heart. And I love you guys. And I'll see you on Facebook for my card of the day. And for just inspirational messages throughout the day. Angel blessings, guys. Bye.